In this video, I'm going to show you how to have an interactive chat session with other Linux users, and that works for both local users and remote users on a completely different server. So let me show you how to do that. All right, we're going to be using the talk command to do this, and what we have to do is install that package. So go ahead and type apt get install talk, and we also want talk d. Okay, I already have this on my system, so nothing will happen here, but go ahead and install that. And then what we're going to do is uh, actually just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to log into the server as Joe. So SSH Joe at the same IP address. So 104.131.92.21. Okay, so he's going to be here on the left. Type in his password and I'm going to copy that and open up a new terminal window on the right and SSH as Sally at that same IP address. Type her password and we are good to go. So right now we're logged in as three users, okay? Three different users. Uh, we can say here down in Joe's window, who, and that'll show us who's logged in at this time. So uh, for some reason I must have two root user windows open. Uh, but there you see root, Joe, and Sally. So let's get root out of here. Um, close out of that. Say who again. And yeah, so I'm not sure about that third window here, but we have Joe and Sally, which is the important part. We want to be able to talk between Joe and Sally. So how do we do that? Um, this is important because we can see who's logged in. And now that we have the talk command installed, all you have to do is type talk space followed by the user that you want to talk to so joe wants to talk to sally so he types sally and you have to type at you can either do the ip address up here or you can do an internal ip address like 127.0.0.1 or if they are on the same system as you you can simply type local host and now as because we confirmed sally's logged in she will get a pop-up message on her terminal window like this that says uh, corresponding requested or connection requested by Joe at pretty much local host respond with talk Joe at that IP address. So Joe's over here waiting for Sally to log into the chat session. Uh, Sally can come over here and say talk Joe at and you can copy and paste this verbatim. I always like to do local host. Hit enter. And now the connection has been established between the two users. So Joe can start out by saying, hey, Sally. And that pretty much, uh, I'm a little laggy with my internet, but that pretty much happens. Every keystroke that you type, it'll show up on the other user's um, ch terminal window in the chat session. So uh, Sally will respond with, hi, Joe. And then Joe can come back and say, how are you? And like, yeah, you can see I messed up backspaces you can even see those keystrokes as well how are you and then sally can come back here and say um fine thanks so that's really cool that's a local user demonstration two local users talking to each other sally can be uh you know somewhere else somewhere else physically but logged into the same server but we can also have chat communications between users on two separate servers. So let me show you how to do that next. So we'll just get out of here with control C, control C. And I do have a completely different server over here. Um, got logged out, but let me log back in, type the password. And this is at this IP address ending in 122. Okay, so if you recall the old IP address, we'll just cover him up, uh, 21. Ending in 21, this one's ends in 122, and I'm user Tony. So same syntax. Let's say Sally wants to talk to Tony on this other computer somewhere. She can say talk Tony at that IP address. So 143.198.71.122. And again, the only way this is going to work is if Tony has talk installed, and he does. So let's see how this works. Hit enter. Same as before. Uh, Tony gets a request from Sally over here. Sally's waiting for him to log in. So we'll do talk Sally at, and then this time the uh, the remote IP address because we're on two different servers this time. Hit enter. The connection is established. Tony can say, what's up, Sally? Sally can respond, nothing much. 
How about you? Pretty cool stuff, pretty fun. Um, I don't know about the security of this. I'm not sure if it's encrypted or anything when you're sending remote messages across the internet. Um, couldn't really find much documentation on this program. So use with caution, but have fun with it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.